the coolest thing to have at your disposal as a kid, if you're growing up somewhere, are a bunch of woods, like forestry around your house. Wow, I was so blessed to have these things. Uh, at least in Enumclaw, sort of when I got older. I think we moved there when I was about eight or nine years old. Well, we, we actually had a pond growing up, and uh, this pond was so cool. And when I hung out with my friend Steven, uh, after I was done with all my schoolwork and homework and everything, good little boy I was, we would go around and build forts. I'm sure if you were a kid also, you just built forts. That would, that's what you do as a little kid. Whether they're cushion forts or legit forts, like with wood up in trees and stuff, you just build forts. That's what you do. It is your duty. And so we called ourselves the Warriors of the Pond. And, uh, oh man, we made so many weapons. Probably at that point is when uh, my fascination for weapons started. No, it was probably before then when I asked Santa for weapons. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did actually. My mom still has a copy of that Christmas letter. Dear Santa, I'd like some weapons, please. I promise not to hurt my sisters. <laughs> All right, so warriors of the pond. And what we did was we, uh, we broke off some cattails and we made arrows out of them. And uh, we, we got pretty good shooting these things. We never actually killed anything, but um, until we actually graduated to BB guns, that's, that's when the mayhem started. Wow. But wow, I remember building so many forts and to the point where my parents were like, you know, Bo, you, you, you have to kind of cool it on some of the forts. You're, you're sort of going overboard. Uh, just one fort at a time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but we got so innovative with some of these things. There was some really tall grass around where we lived, and, and you could sort of bundle them up uh, and tie um, sort of, sort of like, like pebbles from the Flintstones, pebbles hair, like this. You could sort of gather the grass up and, and tie it around, and then you could cut an entrance and, and create this hollow fort that you could sort of crouch inside. Uh, even little temporary forts like that. We got so good at these things. So cool. Unfortunately, uh, it's very wet in Washington State, at least on the west side, so we couldn't really dig down very deep. And often we hit the water table fairly quickly. <laughs> Quick, bail out the fort. One of the sweetest forts that we had was down by a creek, and uh, we sort of took shelter in in this uh, this root system. This giant tree fell over, exposing all of these alien roots coming up, and they stretched up maybe like 20 feet above this creek, uh, and so you could sort of crawl inside the trunk, and and the roots made a natural ladder system so that you could crawl up to the top of the root system. I know, so cool, so awesome. And there were blackberries everywhere. And oh, we got, we got cut up so much playing in these blackberries. Uh, so I think that was called Blackberry Fort until we found a giant buzzsaw. Uh, we're, we're talking, it's, it's as tall as a car. Huge, huge buzzsaw. And there must have been like some old lumber mill there way, way, way back when. And so we called it Buzzsaw Fort. And uh, we, we kind of, oh man, it was so cool stumbling across this giant rusty blade. I mean, how cool is that? That's a neat fort right there. Uh, at one point, I was elected president of the fort, of our club. And uh, <laughs> there, there were only two of us involved in this very secret fort because it wouldn't be a secret if, if we involved more people. So my friend Steven and myself, we, being good little Americans, we held a vote and uh, we were like, okay, um, let's cast our ballots. And it was very official. <laughs> and, and I really wanted to be president. And so I voted for myself. And then Steven, he, he's a very good friend, and he voted for me. So it was unanimous, and, and we counted the ballots, and I ended up being the president of this Blackberry Fort. 
And I remember thinking, I, I don't want him to feel bad. So I was like, well, can we elect you as the vice president? <laughs> I mean, just these two kids. They even have like a, a government structure going. You know, who are these kids? Wow. Wow. Buzz off for it. So it is your duty. If you are a child and you, you are listening to this, it is your duty to go out and build your forts. Start immediately.